So I have just finished watching the first episode of Fantasy Star Online 2. And let me be honest with you, it's average and I'm pretty sure I already figured out the format they are going to use. We have our main character Itsuku who is not interested in games. He doesn't play any computer games. He only plays sports. And at sports he is like, he's a got good supplicant but he's not a master. He's just okay, you know. He's good to basically when a member has been sick, but he would never be like one you just said, throw the ball to him, and then they, you basically are depending everything on him. So, yeah. However, he managed to capture the most, shall we say, the most popular girl's interest. Izumi Rina, the student council president, who is popular amongst both the girls and the boys, and she invites him to coming to the student council room where she informs him that he has to replace a girl that is currently studying overboard because they need another fantasy star online player to basically be part of their school festival because it's really important. However, it's not everyone at the student council that is happy about it. There is this, I call her lesbian, when I found out her name, I will call her by that name, but basically she clearly has feelings for the student council president and she is subtle about her trying to get information like when she asks what what her the student council president's favorite food is and then she goes out and out of the door and says, says to herself, I have to look up how to make that. So yeah, she is not happy about him being added because that could threaten, shall we say, the relationship and maybe even cause Itsuki to steal Rina away from her. However, Itsuki, he isn't interested in playing games, so he is at first ready to turn it down. And then one of the bo boys uh, at the student council says that, isn't you called the handyman and basically challenging his pride? And he looks so he decides to take up the challenge and asks his friend Koda about, shall we say, how to play the game. And he he logs into Fantasy Star Online. He puts the push the random generator, and the character that is generated looks pretty much like him, and even names it as himself Itsuku. And what is happening? He runs into a guy called Soro, who is a veteran player. At first I thought he was a loser, but at the end of this episode it turns out that Soro is actually the student council president Itsumi Rina who followed him to see how good he was. And here is where it starts to basically me make me think that is how it's gonna go because even thought he joins an emergency shall I say call in the game, which should be far too hard for a normal player. He still managed to kill the, the lead evil darkness, or darkening, or whatever it's called, Buck, with a headshot, without using aim assist. He's basically kind of like Kirito, except Kirito at least had the beta test to fall back to. He doesn't have anything, so what I think is going to happen is that Itsuki He's going to be the best player in Fantasy Star Online. Then the student council president, Rina, she is going to develop feelings for him over the course of the series. And then the new girl that we see at the end of this episode and also in the game has in, is getting feelings for him because he is a good player. He is a very good player. And therefore, we have Rina and the new girl fighting over him, basically trying to win him. And then we have the lesbian who tries to ensure that Raina isn't falling for this cat, as she calls him. And that is what I think is going to happen. And that's most likely what will happen if it is, if this gay, if they doesn't change the formula. So all I can say about Fantasy Star is, okay, I can accept it. But if after three episodes, and I mean episode three, if it hasn't changed the format there, if I just see basically the ending, then I'm going to drop this from review because 
this beta series like hey yeah i'm still not caught up with that and i'm sorry for that because that series is really good that deserves much more views there's even assassination classrooms second season which let me just say the second episode <laughs> oh i love that episode so much that deserves view that deserves information however i know chibi is covering that so yeah so all i have to say is that i really hope they changed it because i don't want to watch a, or review an average series at least i'll try to avoid it and that's also why she'll say stuff like pandora in a in the the crimson shell basically fell flat on on its head when i watched it because even thought i have purchased the three volumes of this series i still watched it and you know what i got such a headache after watching it i even wrote my opinion about it in the what is it called on this my social networks what i thought about it i got but back to that headache i got so bad a headache that i had to go to sleep in order to get that headache to disappear so that series it's not going to be one i review because yeah and i know it sounds strange considering i have reviewed bikini warriors i also like valkyria drive but this series it's too perverted it's too weird it's too fucked up so yeah but with that said before i go too much off topic have a good day, good night, wherever you are, and I will see you later, guys, with a Ruby review. Cheers, guys or girls.